What's going on, my man? Um, how, how much is the cover charge? The cover's 50. Man, you're letting this guy in the club? Come on, man. This isn't Club Cripple. My man, tonight just ain't your night. How are we doing tonight? Good. It's just you three? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Come on in. Thank you. Of course. Excuse me. What's going on, my man? Um, how much is the cover charge? Are you on a guest list? No. You gonna be buying a table tonight? Well, well, how much is a table? A thousand dollars. I can't just get a pay for a cover charge? Can you wait a few minutes? I'll see what I can do. All right, thank you. Look at this guy. This is the... Dude, are you on the list? Yeah. What's the name? Dominguez. Okay. All right, make sure you're good to go. Ladies, man, out of here. Excuse me. Man, sorry, man. I, I didn't forget about you. I can let you in soon, though. Yeah, but but they they walked in with with no problem. Yeah, that's my manager. He doesn't let me allow guys in alone. But it's almost midnight, though, so we should be good. Covers fifty. Fifty. That's the best I can do, brother. Appreciate it. All right, man. Let's get you on in here. Uh, where's where's the elevator? Oh man, my bad. You have to use the service elevator around back. You you guys don't have an elevator at the entrance? Let me get somebody to bring down the key, and I'll walk with the elevator. All right, give me one minute. All right, thank you. Hey, Jen. You there? Hey, it's Michael. Uh, could you bring me down the key for the elevator? Thanks. Yeah, sorry about all that hassle, man. We barely use that entrance. I, I understand. Hey, Tommy. Hey, what's going on, Mikey? Uh, do you have the key for the elevator? What? The key for the elevator. I have no idea where that is. For what? We need it for this customer, this gentleman right here. This customer? You letting this guy in the club? Come on, man, this isn't Club Cripple. This isn't, we don't have a wheelchair spinoff tonight. Look, man, I don't know what my door guy told you, but we can't have any unaccompanied gentlemen in the club tonight. What are you talking about? I paid this guy a $50 cover charge, plus I've seen plenty of unaccompanied gentlemen walking into this club. Plus, I've been sitting here for almost an hour now. You only charged him 50 bucks? What's wrong with you? I fired you weeks ago. Look, my man, tonight just ain't your night. Unless you got a couple of ladies behind that chair, it's not gonna work. Well, I do not. Well, maybe you wanna buy a VIP table. How much? For you, five large. 5,000 gets you in tonight. He said it was only $1,000. How bad you want in? That's my special price for you. Special price. Look, man, you're killing the whole vibe around here. There's a hip hop club down the block. Why don't you go there? I'm tired of wasting my time with you right now. Yo, what's going on here? Am I getting punked? No, you're not being punked. I'm not disabled and I'm not a customer, but I do own this club. No, wait a second, wait a second. Johnny D owns this club. I've been running this for him for two years now. <laughs> Johnny D sold me this club last month, and he's been running the operation ever since. But you know what, tonight I decided, let me come around and see what things are like before I make any major changes. Yo, undercover brother, I've had it with your charades. You gotta go. I had a feeling you might say something like that. Here's a copy of the lease. 
read it for yourself. And look at this. Reginald Thompson? That's you? <laughs> you can call me Reggie. <laughs> Hey man, I'm sure you can understand, you know, this misunderstanding. No, no hard feelings, right? <laughs> I would appreciate it if you got your things and you left. Wait, what? Your services, they're no longer needed. Wait a second, this is crazy. I've been running this joint for two years. I'm Tommy C. Everybody knows me around here. Mm. I'm sorry, what's your name? Michael. Michael, how you doing? Congratulations, you're the new manager. Starting tonight, we're gonna to be making some changes. Yes, sir, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> yes, sir. Why are you still standing there? You're fired. Please, have a great night. I'll see you upstairs. Mikey, you gotta go talk to him. You gotta help me get my job back, for old time's sake. Man, you did this to yourself, Tommy. Man, please, think about what you're doing, Mikey. Think about this, Tommy. How would your life be different if you stopped making negative assumptions about the people you encountered? Hmm? Let today be the day you stop judging and start looking for the good in people instead. Peace out, Tommy. So I ain't working the door no more. <laughs>